Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Starting now with news, the New Zealand dollar has risen to a one-month high overnight of 84.5 US cents. This follows a jump in the Dow of 241 points, or 2.1%. This was because Hurricane Irene was not as bad as first feared. There had been expected losses for insurers of about $14 billion, but so far it looks like losses are limited to about $2.6 billion. Also there was some good economic news. Consumer spending was up 0.8% in July versus expectations of a 0.5% rise in America. That's because Americans bought cars and also air conditioners because of the very hot summer. Meanwhile, Greek stocks rallied 14% overnight. That's the most in 21 years. This was after the merger of Greek banks EFG Eurobank and Alpha, removing fears about at least two banks collapsing. Terry Serapisos is in the news again. It looks like he's going to sell his entire assets portfolio in Wellington. And that includes 150 residential properties and up to six commercial properties. He says he wants an orderly sell-off. There's about $232 million worth of property assets. Well, that's the current valuation. His lawyer has told the court that they can't be dumped on the market, otherwise it would create, quote, an economic and social catastrophe in Wellington. Obviously, people aren't so sure about that. But South Canterbury Finance and Equitable Mortgages, who are both in receivership, they want their money back. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand.